Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today. I am going to be going over a, another Algorand video. This is going to be a uh, 202 or more of an advanced course. I'm not going to spend that much time going into it. Uh, but what I'm going to show you guys is a strategy here uh, that I've discovered and I would like to share with the community um, as far as trading strategies using some concepts that we should be familiar about by now if we've been working in the space for a little bit. Um, and I am going to present to you a case for how we can use precious metals to uh, precious metal ASAs to essentially go long uh, Algorand. Um, so uh, before we go any further, this is not financial advice. Uh, this is merely my own opinions and sharing strategies, educating, things like that. Uh, so please, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, moving on. Liquidity pools. Uh, we are all familiar with these. These uh, exist here on a number of different DEXs. Um, real quick, briefly, just touching on what a liquidity pool is. We know that it's a pool of usually a pair of tokens, usually locked in some kind of an uh, a LP token pair. Um, and uh, yeah, that's really all well. I'm going to go to explain to you on liquidity pools. We know we participate in uh, constant market automated market makers. Uh, and we know that when we do this, we have impermanent loss that occurs. Now, this is really key here, and this, this ties into the whole strategy. So when the price of your deposit, deposited asset changes compared to when you deposited them, um, this is important to know because uh, you know stable coins exist to try to you know reduce some of that loss on one side of it um, if you have two volatile pairs you can have impermanent loss on both um, but this is something that we are actually going to use to our advantage I'm going to show you how we can do that here in the ASA ecosystem um, this is a chart that to my knowledge does not exist anywhere else this is something that I put together myself here um, this is a chart that is showing the relationship here in a ratio between silver and Algorand. Now, I picked this for a couple of reasons. We have to think on a macro scale uh, that there is a commodities bull market going on right now with the amount of inflation. Um, and essentially, people are experiencing inflation because they are exchanging dollars for commodities, for real goods and they're transacting in dollars and the dollar is devaluing against commodities and we are ending a 30-year bull market in uh, bonds and debt and switching over into a commodity so we're essentially going to have a wealth transfer out of equities into commodity-based assets so this measures the relationship or the purchasing power of silver related to algo now this goes all the way back to june 2019 when algorand came out and as you can see um, when it is these three peaks that we have up here at the initial part of the graph, that essentially means that silver had a lot of purchasing power. Now, silver, I want you to just keep in mind in this, in this regard, we're going we're gonna to relate silver to precious metals, and I'm going to get back to this in a second. But So with silver, we could purchase a lot of Algorand. The ratio hit 100 to 1, basically. So for one ounce of silver, we could get 100 Algorand coins at one point. And as of more recently, ever since right around March of 2021, uh, Algorand has caught up and gained some purchasing power back against silver. So that has been hovering um, in a range basically between the 20s and the 30s. Uh, and it has been creeping up slowly because of the war. If you'll actually see at the uh, towards the end of the graph, uh, we know that precious metals and uh, we know that precious metals have been rising um, due to war concerns, risk concerns, macroeconomic concerns, inflation concerns. And uh, in this environment, it, this graph does show that silver has been not only maintaining but increasing its purchasing power uh, due to uh, for, uh, over Algorand. And what this can be said in the broader scope of things precious metals increasing their purchasing power over crypto. So we're going to use this to our advantage in this in this trade here using what we know. I'm going to bring in Meld Gold. This is an ASA. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about uh, the company, what Meld Gold is, but I'm just going to give you guys the ASA, the symbol. Um, this is a this is a token uh, that basically represents one gram of physical gold. I have linked a, the white paper below if you want to read more about that in the company. Uh, it has a great team heading it off, and I just want to make some you know, awareness about how I'm using this, and this is what I'm doing with it. Now, using what we know about the graph that you know, silver or precious metals in general have been maintaining and increasing their purchasing power in relationship 
to Algorand, what we know about impermanent loss is that if I link Algo to MCAU, I know that Algorand is probably going to devalue a lot more against the gold token. Um, and we're essentially using impermanent loss to go long Algo by default. And these are just simply the, the rules and the way that the markets work. And if you can conceptualize this right now, one MCAU, uh, when I took these screenshots, 86 Algo. Now, if we're going long, we would anticipate that to increase. So MCAU will also increase as well because MCAU is linked to a commodity, which is gold. And it will be in a relationship, this linked pair relationship between that and Algorand, the cryptocurrency. Um, so what I anticipate to utilize this for is simply using impermanent loss to go long Algorand by linking it with gold, which according to all of the research that I've presented um, in this slide back here, I uh, should tell me that gold will be, you know, commodities will be increasing their purchasing power uh, compared to these cryptos. And this is something that you can do. You don't necessarily have to wait for Algorand to moon or anything like that. Um, so with that said, guys, I hope this was informative and I hope that this makes sense and you guys got something out of it. Thanks so much for listening. Um, and if you enjoyed this, give a like, sub, share. Uh, let's spread some more ideas. Have a good one, guys.